two lines, two lines that made her heart race and her stomach churn. For the past two weeks, she chalked up her morning sickness to stress. She was in her final year of university, her exams looming closer, and she's been pulling all-nighters. Convinced that her body was simply reacting to the sleeplessness. But the truth was quietly growing inside her, hidden until now. She wasn't ready for this. How could she be? Her thoughts were scattered, like shattered pieces of glass. One second, she was overwhelmed with the realization of what was happening inside her. The next, she was filled with panic about how she would tell Jungkook. Jungkook. Why it no after the few months of their relationship, he doesn't like kids. He said it outright, he wasn't fond of children, didn't want them. She doesn't know the reason why. But she didn't argue or anything. Honestly, she didn't think about kids too. Because she didn't want it to be bound on that responsibility since she is still studying. It was a silent understanding between them, kids were never part of their plan. Up until now. But now, now there was a plan. One she had no control over. Her hand trembled as she stared at her reflection. How was she going to tell him? How would he react when he found out that the one thing he never wanted was now a reality? Would he leave? Would he hate her? Tears gathered up in her eyes, blurring her vision. She blinked them away, trying to calm herself. She couldn't think about that right now. She needed to breathe. Her hand tightened around the pregnancy test, her knuckles white from the pressure. There was no way around it. She would have to tell him. She just didn't know how. She leaned against the counter, thinking about past few weeks. The nausea, the exhaustion, it all been leading to this moment, and she didn't even saw it coming. This wasn't part of her plan either. She had her studies, her future career, and now, now there was a baby. Their baby. She let out a shaky breath. Nothing would be the same anymore, not after today. Calming herself down she decided to prepare for the day ahead. She had to collect herself before he wake up. So she decided to make breakfast. She wasn't hungry. Not in the slightest. All she wanted was coffee, something to clear her head. Maybe that would help her figure out how to tell him. Her hand absent-mindedly reached for the cup, lifting it to her lips. But she felt a pair of familiar arms wrap around her waist, warm and firm, pulling her close. His presence always had this effect on her, grounding her, even when everything felt like it was spinning out of control. His chin rested in the crook of her neck. Millimeter, he murmured against her neck, his lips brushing her skin with soft, lazy kisses. How many times have I told you not to leave the bed like that in the morning without me? His voice was slightly husky from just waking up, and she felt a familiar flutter in her chest. The same one she'd felt from the first day they'd been together. You were working late, she said softly, sipping on her coffee. I didn't want to wake you up. You looked exhausted. Jungkook let out a small, disapproving hum, his lips trailing along her neck in a way that sent shivers down her spine. You know I don't care about that. I'd rather wake up with you than sleep through the morning. She chuckled softly, shaking her head. Someone's feeling clingy today. Only because you make me, he muttered, not pulling away. His hold on her tightened a little, as if he could keep her there with him forever if he tried hard enough. What are you making? Toast and eggs for you. He kissed her shoulder again before letting her go, moving to lean against the counter beside her. His eyes following her every movement. And what about you? He raised a brow, noticing the single cup of coffee sitting alone on the counter. Yn, I'm just having coffee. She said, trying to sound casual as she poured the scrambled eggs onto a plate. He frowned, crossing his arms over his chest. Coffee isn't breakfast, Yn. I'm not that hungry, she replied, giving him a small shrug as she handed him his plate. Besides, I've got to head to class soon. Jungkook, you've been saying that a lot lately. Skipping meals, you know that's not healthy, right? Yn, I know, I know. I'm just a little stressed. Exams, projects, you know how it is. She walked towards him and leaned into him. 
letting herself melt into his warmth for just a moment. Maybe it was selfish, but she needed this. She needed this moment of calm before everything changed. She looked up at him meeting his dark gaze, and for a moment, the familiar love and intensity she always saw there made her chest tighten. He was so much more than the cold, ruthless man everyone else saw. In these moments, he was hers, soft and affectionate, the man who always made her feel safe. But how safe would she feel when he found out? Millimeter, don't push yourself too hard. He said, kissing the top of her hair. You've got to take care of yourself too, okay? She nodded her head. If only he knew what was really going on. Jungkook, you know, I was thinking. Since we've been working so hard, we should do something fun this weekend. I could take you out somewhere. Just the two of us. Oh? Like where? Jungkook, that would be surprise for now. He said taking a bite of his breakfast. She pouted her fingers absent-mindedly fiddling with the button on his shirt. Fine, that's not fair. Jungkook, life's not fair, babe. But you'll like it, I promise. How am I supposed to wait the whole week without knowing where you're taking me? That's torture. And change your habits of skipping meal. You know I can be strict about it too. She rolled her eyes, yeah, yeah I know. You don't have to warn me every time. YN, YN, okay. I promise I'll take better care of myself. Satisfied he leaned in, planting a kiss on her cheek before pulling back. He sighed as he reached for his phone on the counter, checking the time. Now, go grab your bag, or you'll be late for university. YN, or, you're right, she ran to pick up her bag from living room. Jungkook, I'll pick you up after your class. Don't be late, or I'll have to come in and get you. YN, you wouldn't dare. Last time you made a scene too. Jungkook, because you are 20 minutes late. I got detention, and that was your fault. She huffed, slinging her bag over her shoulder. Jungkook, how was that my fault? YN, you distracted me and I couldn't finish my assignments. Oh? He leaned in, tell me, how exactly did I distract you? Her cheeks flushed and she gave him a light shove. You know exactly how. He laughed, his lips curving into that familiar smirk that always made her heart race. Can't blame a guy for wanting a little attention from his girlfriend. She rolled her eyes, yeah yeah whatever. Now bye. He grabbed her wrist gently, pulling her back for a quick kiss on the forehead. Now go. As soon as YN stepped out of the university building after her classes ended, she spotted Jungkook leaning against his car, looking effortlessly hot with his hands in his pockets. His dark hair fell over his eyes, and that ever-present smirk on his lips when he saw her approaching. Her heart did a little flip, the sight of him always making her feel giddy, even after all this time. She picked up her pace, a smile forming her face as she neared him. Look who's right on time for once, he teased her, pulling his sunglasses down. Miracles do happen. She opened her mouth to retort, but he leaned down, planting a quick kiss on her lips. Missed you, YN, we saw each other this morning. Still missed you, he said wrapping his arms around her waist and pulling her closer. Yeah, yeah, save it, she muttered, though her heart was racing at how close he was. She pressed her hands against his chest, pushing him back. People are watching. He raised an eyebrow, clearly not caring about the audience. Let them. Jungkook, by the way a surprise is waiting for you, now what again? He shrugged and opened the door, for her she narrowed her eyes and slid inside the car. Her eyes widened in surprise when she noticed there were more people Jungkook's sister, Yumi, was sitting in the back seat, and beside her were her kids. Yumi. Wyan exclaimed, turning around in her seat. What are you doing here? Yumi, Jungkook offered to pick us up and drive us home. I wanted to meet Mom. Hyan waved at Wyan. 
Hi, he shouted, smiling wide, before quickly turning back to snatch the toy from his sister. Hey, no fighting back there. Jungkook warned in stern voice, but of course the little devils wouldn't hear him. Oh my god, they are so much bigger since the last time I saw them. Yumi, they are growing way too fast. She said smiling warmly, and Myra jumped on Yan lap wrapping her small arms around Yan's neck in a tight hug. I missed you. Why don't you visit us anymore? She smiled ruffling her hair, I visited last month, remember? Myra pouted, shaking her head. But that was so long ago. She chuckled, glancing at Jungkook, who was watching the interaction from the driver's seat, their eyes met before he turned back to focus on the road. I'll visit more often, I promise, promise, the little girl show her pinky to Yan, and she linked it with her. Promise. Yan kept stealing glances at Jungkook from time to time, while he was awfully quiet. As they finally reached their home, he parked the car, and let out a deep sigh. What happened to you, she asked standing in front of him, you were so quiet the whole ride. Jungkook, nothing I just, he couldn't even get to finish his sentence when Myra grabbed something shiny from his hand. It took Yan a second to realize it was his car key ring. Hey! Jungkook called, as the little girl ran off, giggling. Give that back, Myra. Hyan, we've got Uncle Jungkook's keys. Jungkook let out a groan, running a hand through his hair. Gosh, these annoying brats. Yan, they are kids let them. Jungkook, when they ever listen to me. Brat as always. They adore you, you know that, right, please. All they do is annoy me. He grumbled, bring those keys back I need to go back. What you aren't staying? Nope. I've got work to handle at office tonight. Can't stay long. She tried to hide her disappointment. Oh, I see. I'll bring you the keys. Yumi, you didn't tell Jungkook yet. Yan, I just found out this morning, Yumi. I don't know how, okay, she said, hugging a pillow to her chest tightly. Yumi, I get that it's a lot, but you can't avoid this forever. He's going to notice something's off eventually. I know. She glanced down at her hands, twisting the blanket nervously between her fingers. I just... I don't know how to handle it. It's sudden, and my finals are coming up. It's going to mess everything up, Yumi. Everything. So, you're just going to wait. What, for a whole month? Until finals are over. She bit her lip. Do I have a choice? You know how much I love him. This conversation, I don't know how to even start it. Every time I think about telling him, my mind goes blank.